everybody. We are back and we are doing a video uh, this morning on icebreakers. And to help us make the video, we've got Shushmita Ghosh. And uh, Shushmita, can you tell us what program you're in here at the college? I am studying Community and Social Service Management at Brantford Campus. All right. Uh, Sushmita is also the Faculty Development Assistant here at Conestoga. And Amanda, what is your job here at the college? I am the Employment Coordinator uh, with the Career Hub, um, basically assisting students with obtaining employment. So um, anywhere from resume and cover letters to job search techniques to interview prep, essentially assisting the students with learning the skills to be successful in obtaining and maintaining employment. All right. Well, thank you to both of you for uh, participating here. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about six types of icebreakers. But rather than talk about them, we're going to actually do them so you see what they look like. And the first one is, the students find this one a lot of fun. It's called True Truth and a Lie. If this were a big class, we would break up into small groups and people could um, tell their, their truths and a lie and then they could report back one thing they learned about the people in their group. But uh, we're going to have Shushmita and Amanda go ahead and do this as if they were a small group. So tell each other three things about yourself. Two of them are true, one of them is not true. And the other person has to guess which one is not true. Amanda, would you like to start? Sure. Um, okay, so the first one being that I have one sister. The second is that I grew up playing a lot of sports. And the last one is that I broke my leg last summer. Okay. What, um, what one do you think is the, the lie? I think um, the lie is uh, you're having one sister. And I think the lie is that you broke your leg. You're right, Laura. I didn't break my leg okay. last summer. I do only have one sister. Okay. All right. Shushmita, your turn. Um, my favorite color is uh, white. I'm having one elder brother, and my mother is homemaker. Hmm. I think that you, your lie is about your brother. I think so, too. I think you have more than one brother. No. That's uh, right. I am having only one brother. Oh. The lie uh, is, uh, my favorite color is blue and black. So yeah. I said uh, white. Right. Oh, so that's like, yeah. I like those colors too. All right. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next one. This is one that's really good to do early in the semester, but it can be adapted uh, any time in the semester. And this is where you have students work in partners, and I will give you instructions. So, Shushmita and Amanda, your, um, your task here is to talk to each other and find out one thing about your partner. Go ahead. Okay. Um, tell me kind of where you want to, to have your career. Where do you see yourself in, in five years once you're all done school? Yeah. So uh, once I get, uh, once like this course gets completed, I am thinking to take another course that I have decided that to take um, substance abuse and mental health. Nice. Yeah. So once I complete that course in 2020, I'm thinking to um, start my career in non-profit sector. As I have already completed my masters and I already have experience in uh, non-profit, mm -hmm. so already I have invested four years in theory and practice. Excellent. And uh, Another two years I'll be studying here, so I will have uh, overall six years experience wow. in theory and practical. So I would always prefer to work in this sector, in non yeah. And, That's uh, yeah. and I, I used to work as a sub editor, as a journalist uh, before I studied, my, uh, before I completed my master's in social work. So I changed my stream. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing that I really like to work. That's excellent. And. Uh, uh, w w uh, what do you think that, uh, mm, uh, like, um, uh, I want to know uh, what is your experience overall? As as I know that you are a career counselor here in Conestoga College, mm -hmm. so my curiosity is how many work experience you are having at present now. So, you and I are a little bit similar. I yeah. grew. I I worked in a nonprofit agency for twelve years before coming to the college. Okay. And I, I started the first seven and a half, I was a counselor for, for children and youth. And, and always thought that that was what I was going to do for, for my career. 
Uh, but then there were some changes with the agency, and I got transferred to the employment sector. Really didn't know what I was getting into, um, but then I started working it, and I, I, I loved it. And I found this whole other area of skills that I have that I didn't know existed, um, which led me to, I've been working in the employment sector for five years, and, and then using that, that knowledge and skills to bring it to the college. So it's really unique because I'm taking the skills I've already learned, and now I'm learning about the college, the students, and, and you know, helping a different clientele obtain employment. So it's, it's a new challenge, but it's really exciting. Um, so really to answer your question, I have um, about five to six years of experience in the employment sector, but um, probably 15 years in, in social service and that kind of realm assisting helping people. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, if this were a large class, what we might do next is either leave it at that or we might have each person in the class introduce their partner and tell one thing about them. Thank you very much. That was really interesting. So we're going to move on to the next icebreaker that can be used any time in the semester. It's called Dice Breaker. And uh, uh, Sushmita and Amanda are getting out the props that they need in order to do this. What you need in order to uh, play this icebreaker game is every group needs a, a dice and uh, and the questions. There need to be six questions for them to answer. They'll answer the question that matches the number they throw. All right, so you can give them out a sheet with the questions or you can write the questions on the whiteboard. Um, Shushmita, you want to start? Yeah. Okay. So, four. The question is, uh, what is the best thing that happened to you this week? That's interesting questions. So, uh, my, my, the, my answer is, um, the best thing that happened this week is uh, my classmates, they visited my house. Uh, oh. So, that's a, that's a very interesting thing. And I used to uh, live in West Brand. So, it used to take 10 minutes by bus to reach my oh. home. Right. So, uh, from 1st November, I have uh, shifted here in downtown. In, in a, in a two-beach apartment, two-bedroom apartment. So, it was a kind of... The first time uh, four of my classmates they came and we they uh, they came for a group work, group study. Excellent. So it was a great experience mm -hmm. having them in my uh, apartment and it was a great experience to spending time with them okay. in my hobby. Yeah, yes, because, so I remember because that was really nice to bring people to your home. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're turn. done. Six. We had the same thing. Um, what is the best thing that happened to me this week? You know what, I have to say, since we said, but it's getting to know you. Uh, you know, it's one of the nice things with my job and as things are kind of getting settled, I'm really getting to learn more about the students and building relationships with the students. And I've seen you walk past my office many times, but we really haven't had a chance to really connect, you know, because you came to see me to, to help with your resume and cover letter for this position. You got the job, so job searching isn't a big high on your priority list right now. Uh, but it's nice to get to know you and, and, you know, just some of your history and where you come from and, and to have lots of good laughs together. Yeah. All right. That's great. Neat. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. So let's do the next icebreaker. And this is going to entail um, if you would take a marker. Maybe Shushmita, I'm going to write, get, I'm going to tell you one phrase. Okay. And I'm going to have you write it on that uh, piece of white pa paper behind you. And once you've written it down, you folks are just going to brainstorm all the words you think of that are related to this word, okay? Yeah. So would you write the phrase group work on the white paper? All right. Thank you. So what are some of the things that you think about when you think of the word group work? Teamwork. Cooperation. Delegating. Problem solving together. Um, collaboration. Do we, do we say that one? I don't think so. Um, brainstorming together. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. So that can be a very, um, a very simple, straightforward 
uh, opening icebreaker. Thanks very much. Okay, the next one is called change chairs, but because we're in such a small space, instead of changing chairs, we're just going to stand up. So I'm going to say a series of sentences. If the sentence is true for you, please just stand up and then you can sit down again. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, stand up if you had coffee this morning. Okay. Stand up if you ate breakfast this morning. Okay. Uh, stand up if you drove to work this morning. Stand up if you walked to work this morning. Stand up if you have a lot of homework to do. Stand up if you have plans for this weekend. Okay. And stand up if you've had a good week. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so that's a nice simple one. Uh, students don't have to actually uh, talk, but they do get to find out things about each other. And you can ask questions that are related to their prior experience. It's a way of actually you can use it as a pre-assessment as well, finding out what they already know. All right, last icebreaker for today is called the name story. This is another good one that for the beginning of a semester. The idea is, and I'll just explain it to you two and you can do it. Mm -hmm. So you two are going to work as, as a pair and what I would like you to do is each of you choose one of your names or a nickname and tell a story about that name. Something that that is meaningful to you about your name. Go ahead. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Uh, so my, my last name, Lishman, um, my ancestors, when they emigrated from England to, to Canada, they, their name was actually Englishman. And when they, when, when they came over to Canada, they dropped the ENG and kept Lishman. And that's kind of what's stuck through for the last hundreds of years. Um, but it's, just, it's actually kind of interesting when I learned that. I didn't know that for a very long time. So it was kind of just fun to learn. Yeah, that's an interesting, interesting mm -hmm. thing, yeah. But what about your uh, name? Uh, my Facebook ID is Shushmita Shelly. So my uh, actual name is, that's in the certificate and my parents gave me, that is Shushmita. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shelly, that is the name I have given to myself. So that's nice. interesting thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the um, Shelly, uh, the idea came to give, say, Shelly was uh, when I was in school or I was in uh, college. Mm -hmm. So um, in our English year, uh, there was Pashi Veshi Shelly's poem. So I like that poem and I like the uh, Shelly name. Yes. So uh, when I was in college, so I opened the Facebook and I was thinking what to give the, the name. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to give my uh, actual son name there. Right. So I was thinking to uh, some interesting name and I found that name very interesting because I like that poem. So I mm -hmm. put Good. that name Shelly. It kind of helps you rem yeah. remember. And my, and my ID is also shushmitashelly at gmail.com. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice <laughs> name and it's always important when you when, for you to choose that name, and, it's and, it's important and, to and, I, and another interesting thing is, I have observed that here, uh, my name is in, uh, it's a Bengali name. So mm -hmm. people here, uh, my Canadian friend, they are having some. Sometimes they have some problem to pronounce it. Right. And when I tell uh, when I tell them that you, you just can call me Shelly, so they can they pronounce it in a, in a very nice. Uh, so they your friends call you Shelly too. too. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. That's fun. You know, and that's that's great. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much to both of you. And thank you for watching our uh, video here. And I hope you got some good ideas about icebreakers you can use in your own class.